Hi everybody, I'm Mike Hardy. Today we're going to talk about ISO, so stick around. Now you've probably seen ISO either on your LCD screen or on a button on your camera. But let me tell you that ISO is one of the simplest tools that you, you can use in your photography. Before digital, film was sold at different speeds. Those speeds were listed as ISO numbers. The higher ISO number your film was, the more sensitive it was to light. That meant that if you were shooting in low light, you could use a film with a large ISO number to pick up more detail without compromising things like shutter speed or aperture. So what does this have to do with the ISO on your camera? Well, that ISO works the same way. The higher ISO number you use, the more sensitive your camera will be to light, and the brighter your image will be. Now, there's one thing you really need to know about ISO. With film, there is a trade-off when using a higher ISO number. The larger ISO, the more grain or noise in your images. That same trade-off still exists in today's digital cameras. Today's cameras are very proficient at having clear images, even at extremely high ISO numbers. But what it still comes down to is the lower the ISO number, the less noise you'll have in your images. In any shooting situation, I always start with the lowest ISO setting possible. Check your manual to see how this is done for your specific camera. And make sure your camera is not set on automatic ISO, otherwise it's going to choose the ISO setting for you. Well that's it for ISO, I hope you've grasped an understanding for it and it helps in your photography. If you'd like to learn more, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the button below and on my blog link in the video description. I'm Michael Cardi, we'll see you next time.